Let's go to page three six uh, three zero six, and let's start with number one. Okay, so you have two x squared minus seven x plus four equal to zero. And this section, you want to give the sum and the product of the roots of each equation. So in order to match up with the equation, you need to get rid of this coefficient. So you need to divide everything by two. So you got x squared minus seven over two x plus two equal to zero. And the root equation is x squared minus r1 plus r2 x. So it's the plus minus plus r1 times r2 equal to zero. So from here, the sum, so you match it, I see the sum. So sum, you match with that, so the sum will equal to seven over two, right? And the product, see this is a multiplication to match that. So product will equal to two, okay? And that's it. Okay, let's go to number three. So you have 5 equal to 3x minus x squared. So let's go move everything to one, to this sign. So plus x squared plus x squared minus 3x minus 3x. So you get x squared minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. And again, we write down the root equation. So you can do the matching. So R1 plus R2 equal to 3. So here's your sum. So sum equal to 3. And the product. Now you have to watch this. Make sure the plus and minus are also matched. Okay? And the product will equal to 5. Okay, let's go to number 5. Okay, so you're looking for the quadratic equation. Okay, here R1 equal to negative 2, R2 equal to negative 1. So you're looking for the equation again. So what you want to do is write your equation, the root equation, so x squared minus R1 plus R2 x plus R1 times R2 equal to 0. So you substitute, so x squared minus, again, what if you substitute point in parentheses? Okay. Okay, so when you add, when you add this together, we give you minus 3. And when you multiply, right, now it's easier if you put vertical, this will be easier to add or multiply. So when you multiply, this will equal to 2. And the reason you want to put in parentheses so that you can keep track of your positive negative. And so when you simplify, you get x squared plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, let's go to number 7. So you got R1 equal to 3, uh, negative 3. R2 equal to 7. So you can write your root equation, x squared minus R1 plus R2, x plus R1, R2. Again, the formula is very easy to remember if you, if you kind of uh, know the pattern. So you start with uh, the highest power. So so x to the 2, x to the 1, and you got x to the 0, right? So you go in decreasing order, and you, you're going to, and the sign will be plus, minus, plus, you will always alternate, so plus, minus, plus, minus. And the coefficient, it will take, it will take no root at a time, so none, nothing. And you take 1 at a time, and you take 2 at a time, okay? Okay, and then again, you go and just go and match. So you can make sure you put in parentheses so you can keep track of your plus, minus. Okay, so this one you add, so when you add this, you get 4. When you multiply, you get negative 21. And so this becomes x squared minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. Okay, let's go to the next one. So r1 equal to negative 2, r2 equal to 5 over 2. Okay, so again, x squared minus r1 plus r2x plus r1 times r2 equal to 0. Okay, so this one, when you add, 
Okay, this this is equal to negative four over two, right? So when you add, you're going to get one over two, and when you multiply, okay, you can multiply this together, so you're going to get um, the four we can so it give you negative five. Okay. Okay, so you can so you can four cancel with the two with the two, so you're going to get negative five. Okay, now notice as a fraction, so. When you, your final answer should be as simple as possible without a fraction. So you need to multiply it by 2. So you're going to get 2x squared minus x minus 10 equal to 0. Okay, next one. <clears throat> okay, number 11. Okay, you got r1 equal to negative 1 over 2, r2 equal to negative 3 over 2. Okay. Okay, so again, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and write down your root equation. So you got x squared minus r1 plus r2 plus r1 times r2. Okay, then you go ahead and substitute everything in there. Again, whatever you substitute, again, do extra step. Don't skip steps because it's very easy to make careless mistakes. Okay. Okay, so when you add, you're going to get negative 4 over 2, so it'll be negative 2. When you multiply, you're going to get positive uh, 3 over 4. Okay. And the, so the denominator is 4, so you want to multiply everything by 4 to get rid of the fraction. So you're going to get 4x squared minus minus become plus ax. And the four cancels it become plus three equal to zero. Okay. okay, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> so R1 equal to four plus square root of three. R2 equal to four minus square root of three. Okay, so you're gonna get x squared minus R1 plus R2 x plus r1 times r2 equal to 0. Okay, so you're going to get x squared minus, and again, get your print, get your template ready. Okay, so this one, when you add, notice, when you, when you write it down vertically, it's very easy to see this. So this will cancel out. So you're going to get 4 plus 4, you get 8. Okay, now when you multiply, again, you just go and multiply the matching part. So you're going to get 16 minus 3, okay? So you can conjugate, you multiply the corresponding part. So this will give you 16 minus 3. And then you're going to get x squared minus 8x. And this will give you 13, so plus 13 equal to 0. Okay. Okay, next one. Okay, number 15, r1 equal to 1 plus square root of 2 over 3, r2 equal to 1 minus square root of 2 over 3. Okay, so you can write down your formula, x squared minus r1 plus r2, x plus r1 times r2. Hope you guys make a connection. See what happens when you're doing the factoring? Okay, see, see this over here? This is adding, so if you notice this came from this, right? See this over here? So this came from adding, this came from multiplying, okay? Okay. So again, you can go ahead and substitute stuff in here. Okay. So when you add, again, when you add, the plus and minus will cancel out. So you're gonna get one third plus one third will give you two third. Okay, so again, plus, the plus and the minus will cancel out. So you're going to get one-third plus one-third give you two-third. Now, when you multiply, again, you have to multiply every corresponding part, right? So one times one is one, plus times minus is minus, square two times square two is two, three times three is nine. So don't forget to multiply the bottom. Okay, so now the common denominator is nine, so you have to multiply it by nine. So you're going to get 9x squared. Now, when you, um, I, I kind of don't like when you put down here because sometimes it messes you up. So it's better to go and put it over here, do it this way. 
so that way you can cancel so you can 3 times 2 give you 6 uh, minus minus 6x and this cancel out and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 okay so you get 9x squared minus 6x minus 1 uh, equal to 0 okay let's go to the next one So R1 equal to 3 plus I, R2 equal to 3 minus I. Okay, so you can write down your formula. And you go and substitute. Okay, so when you add plus I minus I will cancel out. Okay, so you're going to get... So you can plus, my, plus I minus I will cancel out. So you got 3 plus 3 give you 6. Okay, now when you multiply, okay, again, conjugate. So 3 times 3 will give you 9. Plus times minus will give you minus. I times I is negative 1, so it becomes plus 1. Okay. Then you simplify, get rid of the parentheses. So x squared minus 6x plus 10 equal to 0. Okay, let's go to the next one. So R1 equal to 5 plus square root of 2i. Again, get into the habit of always put the i in the back. Okay, uh, don't put i in the front. And you got R2 equal to 5 minus square root of 2i. Okay, so you can write down your formula. Then you substitute. So it can get your template ready. Okay, so this one you add, again, plus or minus, it will cancel out, so this part is gone. So you got five plus five will give you 10. And when you multiply, you can conjugate, you multiply the corresponding part, right? So five times five give you 25. Plus times minus give you minus. Square of two times square of two give you two. What I times I give you negative one. So this becomes plus, right? So you get x squared minus 10x plus 27 equal to 0. Okay, let's go to the next one. You got r1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 3i over 3. And R2 equal to 1 minus square root of 3i over 3. Okay, again, write down your formula. x squared minus R1 plus R2x plus R1 times R2 equal to 0. Okay, so let's go and add. So again, when you add, the plus and the minus will cancel out. Okay? So the plus and the minus we cancel out. So you got one third plus one third will give you two third. Okay, now when you multiply, I can conjugate. So you multiply the corresponding part. So one times one is one, plus times minus is minus, square root of three times square root of three is three, i times i is negative one, so it becomes plus. Okay, and the three times three on the bottom give you nine. And again, all if the common denominator is 9, so I'm going to multiply it by 9. So I'm going to put 9 at every place so that you can cancel. This one does not cancel, so you get 9x squared. This one cancel with this, so you get 3. So 3 times 2 give you 6. This one cancel out. 1 plus 3 will give you 4. It goes to 0. And so that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so you got, again, same thing, R1 equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 2. R2 equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Okay, so you got x squared minus R1 plus R2, x plus R1 times R2 equal to 0. 
Okay, so you can get your template ready. Okay, so go and add again. The the plus and the minus we cancel out. So you got square root of three plus square root of three, so you get two square root of three. Okay. And when you multiply, I can just go and multiply the corresponding part. So square root of three times square root of three is three, plus times minus is minus, square root of two times square root of two is two. And so this one you cannot really simplify that. So you get x squared minus two square root of three x plus one equal to zero. Okay, let's go to the next one. You got R1 is equal to 1 plus the fourth root of 2. R2 equal to 1 minus fourth root of 2. Okay, again, write down your formula. So get your template ready. Okay, so this one you add again plus and minus we cancel out. So you got one plus one give you two. And when you multiply, again it's conjugate, so you multiply the corresponding part. So one times one is one. Now try to make a good good use of your fingers so that way you can visualize and you don't uh, make a lot of case mistakes. So one times one is one, plus times minus is minus. Now fourth root of two times fourth of root will give you fourth root of four, which is two squared. And this one you can simplify into square root of two. Okay, so this one you can simplify into square root of two. So this becomes x squared minus two x, okay, um, plus one minus square root of two, equal to zero. And that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go to 27. Okay, it says, if R2 is one of the roots, so R1 equal to 2, and you have this equation, x squared minus 5x plus c equal to 0. Okay, find the other root, so R2 equal to question mark, and the value of c, so c equal to question mark. Okay. So again, everything has to do with the root equation. So write down your root equation. And you do the matching. So watch out for the negative. So negative match with negative, so that's good. So this will match with that. So R1 plus R2 equal to 5. So this match with that. This will match with that. So, R, uh, so R1 times R2 equal to C. Okay, so you can match everything up. Now this one, we know that R2 equal to, R1 equal to 2, so you can substitute and you can minus 2 on each side. So R2 equal to 3. Okay, so R2 equal to 3. So we can put over there. Then we can substitute into here now, right? So R1 is 2, R2 is 3, equal to C, so C equal to 6. Okay. And that's it for this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. It says if two, uh, 3 over 2 is 1 of the roots, so R1 equal to 3 over 2 of the equation 3x squared plus 6x plus c equal to 0. From the other root, so you're looking for R2 and the value of c, so same as before. Again, right, uh, before you write your root equation, you need to divide it by 3 because the, because the root equation can have any number in front. So let's go and divide it by 3. So you got x squared plus 2x plus c over 3 equal to 0. Then you write your root equation. So when you match, again, notice the, the, the negative, okay? So I'm going to su switch the negative to this side. Okay, well, um, you know, let, let's do this. Negative R1 plus, neg uh, plus R2 equal to 2, okay? So it's just going to match this coefficient here. So that way you, you guys don't get confused. And over here, you're going to get R1 times R2 equal to C over 3. 
Okay, so next step is I'm going to solve now. Okay, so first it's going to multiply by negative 1. So you got R1 plus R2 equal to negative 2. And substitute R1 into here. So um, minus 3 over 2, minus 3 over 2. So R2 is going to be, okay, so if you make this into common denominator, it will be negative 4 over 2, okay? So when you, sub so when you subtract, okay, it becomes um, uh, negative 1 over 2. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, okay, minus, uh, minus 7 over 2, okay? So this one will give you negative 7 over 2. And to look for this one, again, you substitute everything here. So R1 is 3 over 2. R2 is negative 7 over 2 equal to C over 3. So I'm going to multiply by 3 on both sides to get rid of that. So C will equal to okay, uh, negative 63 over 4. Okay, and it will be the C. Okay, let's go to number 31. It says if the difference of the roots, so that means R1 minus R2, difference of the roots of this equal to 8. Okay, and you have equation of 3x squared minus 12x plus c equal to 0. It says from the roots, so you're looking for R1, you're looking for R2, and you're looking for c. Okay, so again, first let's go ahead and uh, divide it by 3 so we can get the correct form. Uh, so you got x squared minus 4x plus c over 3 equal to 0. So you got x squared minus uh, r1 plus r2x plus r1 times r2 equal to 0. Okay, so now you're going to do the matching. So negative match with negative already, so that's good. So you got r1 plus r2 equal to 4. Right, this match with that, this match with that. So you get r1, r2 equal to c over 3. Okay, now to solve, it does not give you the specific value, but this equation over here, you can move this down here. Okay. So you got R1 plus um, R1 minus R2 equal to 8. So when you add this, we cancel out. So you got 2R1 equal to 12. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So R1 equal to 6. So once you find R1 equal to 6, um, you can... I, I like to. I don't like the subtraction. It's to make mistakes. So I'm going to use this equation over here. So I got R1 plus R2 equal to 4. So you substitute and you subtract 6 on each side. So R2 equal to negative 2. Okay. And then you can substitute into here to get the C so to solve for C. So substitute this into here. So you got 6 for R1, negative 2 for R2, you got to C over 3, then multiply both sides by 3. Now this is only one term, so you only multiply one time. So don't multiply by 3 here and 3 here, because this is one term, okay? Okay, so C equal to negative 36, and that's it.